by uh, Whitehall, New York. They got a lot of squatch activity. Of course, the Appalachian Trail is nearby. We're headed to destination unknown. Uh, but we just wanted to show you how squatchy it is up here in, uh, in the area. Here we go. Oh, well, this is Cornwall. So here we're heading into Cornwall. And wow. Come check it out. We're on location. We're not sure where we're going yet. Uh, but we're looking to see you out there. That's a new one. There's a lot of new cryptids. Mantis Man is new. So there's some just, you know, some interesting stuff. We're going to check out that new London Park and some other, you know, points of interest while we're down in that area. But right now, we're out here in Cornwall, coming up on Route 7. Uh, me and the camera person here both agree that this is just Squatch Central out here. We haven't got out in it yet, but we're darn sure a gunner. Alright, I got the cut pay attention. Front of State Park. We're here in Canaan. We're gonna go to Bear Mountain, but it's too snowy as you can see. But man, this is squatchy. It's uh, February 21st at 1:02 in the afternoon. It's um, 31 degrees right now. Well, we give you that information so that when we come across evidence or if we have a sighting, um, we can then say, okay, well that happened this year. Then you know to go back that time of year again and increase your likelihood of finding incidents. And you start to just develop patterns. Um, but this this is just squatch. Just as to I had to take a guess. That's a well, it's definitely a rock quarry. But if I had to take a guess, um, that's either granite or marble. You know, we have some of the finest marble robin swamp which we love um, robin swamp has the finest marble in the entire world there are no veins it's just pure white i don't know what they do with it but it's all over the place when you go in that swamp so i'm guessing that's what this was
Okay, so this place, uh, this place was in operation from 1847 to 1919. It's Beckley Furnace Industrial Monument. This was a furnace. Uh, this thing made some of the finest iron at the time, particularly used for um, train wheels, locomotive wheels. It was resistant to cracking. Of course, we're here to do some squatching, but uh, as you see, we're in snow, so we're limited to where we can actually go. you got a beautiful waterfall here. We have another kiosk down here. We're going to go down there and check out these kiosks. Because that's what we do, you know. We're all about the kiosks in season. Uh, and of all the kiosks we've seen, this place has some of the nicest ones. They're all over the place, and I love that. And, and don't just pass them by. Read it simply like that. The history about making iron in Connecticut. You can see how this place used to look. I, I like the way it looks now. This thing looks like some kind of crazy temple or shrine or something. Um, but here's the history. Blackberry River here. Um, it's just giving you some cool photos from back in the day. Just cool, just cool. When the um, iron came out, they would they would just take the slag and cast it aside. And it's interesting to note that the iron bars they called them piglets because it resembled uh, nursing pigs. This is cool. All right. So, I don't know how squatchy it is, but this is a cool park, and we got some really top-notch kiosks here. Let's check them out. You pay for these things with your taxpayer money, Connecticut residents, so. So check them out. Hi everybody, wow, this is a cool place. Let's go check out this Blackberry River. We got a really nice waterfall here too. This is nice. We got some old industrial stuff here. What a cool park. Free. Uh, hi everybody, so we're here at this waterfall on Blackberry River in Beckham Furnace State Park in uh, Canaan, Connecticut. Man, it is cool here. The history, okay, the history is just oozing in this place. It's spectacular, it's beautiful. Crazy architecture here, massive blocks of stone walls. Uh, we're gonna go into the forest and actually try a little just to see if we can see any tracks or anything. Um, howl a little bit, it's good to howl. But we're on location, I'm telling you, it's a gorgeous day. Winter, you can imagine how pretty I've been here in the summer. It's nice. Um, you want to come check this out? Okay, here's where I, this is the part of the show. <laughs> where I yell at the Connecticut Department of Tourism. Why aren't you putting this place on the map? Who's in history? Crazy arches everywhere I look. Massive pipes, big pieces of, big pieces of industrial equipment, massive, huge trees. And over here, of course, we're on the river and the park goes into this wooded area. Now, that's of course what we're here, but Man, wow, you're squatching. Don't forget to do some watching. We'll get this a squatching meter in there. But it's just cool. Look at the ice formations here. 
we're gonna go swimming. I'm gonna go take a dive in here. Okay. Everybody out there, so here I go. I'm gonna go swimming. I'm not. I'm not gonna go swimming. On location. This waterfall, Blackberry River here, is just loud. I can feel it rumbling. It's not, you know, it's not a huge, it's a man-made one several feet high. But the, the melt water, it's awesome. This is awesome. Come check this place out. Send us your evidence. Send us your sightings. Anything. Say hi to us. Uh, we'll see you out there. So this Blackberry River, as I suspected, is the trout management area. I've probably got all those salmon tag routines um, that you need to have now with the new Connecticut fishing license. Nice little fishing area. We're about to go into the forest here, which is, as you're approaching this furnace, is off to your right here. And um, we'll see you. We'll try, try rustling something up. We'll look for some tracks in this fresh snow. Uh, but, you know, like I, I say it all the time, part of what we do is just getting out to these places and putting our eyes on it. And wow, this is beautiful. This is a really beautiful park. We'll see you in the forest. So here we are inside the forest is this iron trail. You gotta love that name. Looks like it's a loop trail. We're gonna stay in this main part and we're gonna get into some taps of course and some howls. Wow, cool place. We'll see you in there. Hydrate yourself when you're out there. <laughs> okay, so we got some really cool prints here um, but let me demonstrate something what happens over the course of a couple of days you see these these here that's probably where snow fell and what happens is this is probably a coyote or a deer and uh, i'm guessing coyote because these these it looks like this is bipedal but this is a four-legged animal and the prints would start off very snow, small like that and then as the, it melts and refreezes Next day melts and refreezes, melts and refreezes. You can see how this comes down in sort of a bowl shape and it has tapered edges. That's where it's melted and it sinks down. And so what is initially a small print ends up looking like a big print. So be very careful, you know, uh, misidentification. You wanna watch that. You wanna question yourself all the time. That looks like some kind of small footprint human. It's not fox or a coyote or Possibly deer or something, maybe a bobcat or something. Of course, mountain lions are here in Connecticut, and if you ask the DEP, they'll say no. But, you know, like MDC, you're not going to get a straight answer out of them again. There's a lot of bird activity here and tracks. We talked about power lines and open areas. You can see these tracks of, I'm just going to say coyote doesn't appear to be deer um, but they're taking advantage of this open trail and I heard two call taps from out this way um, part of the team said they didn't so it's inconclusive we were gabbing a little bit at the time we're gonna go down a little ways and see if we can call tap and howl down in here but there's a lot of tracks there's a lot of a lot of animals a lot of forage base and the crows are doing that thing that crows tend to do on high mountains is that sort of where they get that laughing crow sound that wah 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 a lot of that so if, I don't know if you can hear it but it's cool we'll see you in there
this this the woods in here are very squatchy. We haven't done a call tap yet, um, but it's it's squatchy. Cool. It kind of reminds me of Wat Robin Swamp a little bit, but this is way more uh, accessible. This animal is doing exactly what we talked about, is utilizing this trail. Uh, we chose this trail because there was no footprints, no dog prints, this thing, uh, and there's some clear areas where stuff happened. mix of different trees. Kind of open. Seems to be some kind of opening over here, so we'll call tap and howl over here. We were commenting on how uh, there's no airplanes. And then one just flew overhead. So that's our ongoing thing. There's always airplanes overhead in Connecticut. We're going to do a call. This place, we got an airplane, we got an airplane being told to do a howl. I think I'll go with a higher pitch. Gonna hike a little more. It's interesting we chose this place uh, because it just looked cool. It's obviously a frozen little pond, tiny, tiny. And uh, just as we were following the tracks, sure enough, the tracks went off in that direction. Not hearing any response to that, but it sure did get quiet with the birds that were making all kinds of noise before. Little rumble of cars in the background. Beautiful place. 
place. What a nice day. One of the rare days in New England you actually get a blue sky. Um, so check us out. Check us out on our social media and give us those reports. We love that stuff. We will follow up uh, to the people that are reaching out. We appreciate you and hope you like our our investigation. We'll put the number up. I forget which one, but again, we're at Beckley Furnace State Park um, in, in around Canaan, Connecticut. Awesome place. Oh, squatch in there. Woof. I gotta say, I heard two call taps. Wasn't substantiated. Uh, 4.2. 4.2. Unless we get some better evidence. Yeah. Cool hiking place. And this is tough hiking winter. It says no snowmobiles. We're hiking on snowmobile tracks right now. This place is, uh, if you go back to our Wigwam Brook investigation, is uh, has that, I was talking to the, the team members here, has that voicey feel. What I mean by that is you almost, in the distance, hear low conversation going, or just a in, indistinguishable um, sound. What the heck is this thing over here? But it's voicey here. Okay, to me, okay, this is a child's bed frame. Yeah, we're about a mile in the woods here. Looks like an old iron, old child's bed frame. That's crazy. Okay, yeah. You think that's crazy? <laughs> It looks relatively intact, like, like it wasn't garbage when it was put here. This place is creepy. This place is cool. Look at these. We've got these huge wild grapevines going. Here we go. We were just talking about how voicey it is here. Doing a little clip for the videos. And a child bed frame intact in the middle of the woods. That's just crazy. Yeah, so like that, the, maybe a 4.5 is voicey. I heard call taps on the way in. I'm certain of it, but that wasn't co corroborated. It's cool here. Check it out. Uh, normally, I would. We have a little sense of humor here. Keep it lighthearted. We try to ask the rocks. Uh, but these rocks here, there's not a whole lot of them exposed. No glacial erratic so far, but a lot of big trees. So what do you think, big fella? This is a big white pine right here. Massive. Massive, massive, healthy tree. Have you seen any kind of... Uh, Ganasqua or Squatchy, nine foot tall, upright, mad looking, kind of socially distant hominid in these parts. Yeah, um, you sure about that? You seen any kind of dog man or windigos or any of that weird stuff creeping around? We got a lot. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe I'm not asking you nice enough. Check us out on social media, CSIS on location, Beckham Furnace State Park, very unique, very cool. We bumped it up to a 4.5 on the Squatchometer. We innovated the Squatchometer, by the way, yeah, that's our thing. The birds stopped when we started doing call taps and howls. 
but somebody's dog. Somebody dog. Somebody's dog sure doesn't like it. Um, stay safe out there. You see the tips of the trees. We're getting that red thing where all the sap is flowing. So hey, spring is right around the corner. Don't let that stop you from getting out there. And we'll see you on our next adventure.